stay away from drama. I'm gonna help you guys out. Damn it, I am the world's biggest procrastinator. I'm gonna be stronger than this and just be ready to change it. Hey everyone, today I'm gonna be filming a tips on how to survive in middle school. I just ended middle school, so I decided that I would give some few tips on it because I just went through the whole experience. So I thought that that'd be good. Um, some of these things I wish I had followed throughout all the years of middle school because I didn't, and I'm gonna pass them on to you. Some of the things that some of these things I lived by and never crossed. Um, it just kind of depends. So I'm gonna help you guys out if you're going into middle school, and or like any school, I guess I don't really know. But yeah, let's just get started. So one of the first things that I wrote down was to be yourself. Um, I struggled a lot with not being myself, changing myself for other people like being like acting dumb kind of and just different things that I didn't really need to do like I'm good enough my own I was in bed and I was just realizing that like everyone likes me for me and I'm good enough the way I am and I was like wow like I can just be myself and I don't need to change to just like be more liked and so that's something to try to do is just not if you notice yourself lying or doing things that you don't normally like, you just stop yourself. And I ended up doing that, and I was like, yeah, wait, I don't, no, I don't like that. Are you kidding me? Like, I ended up just, like, being honest with myself and what I was saying to people. So I think that's really important. Um, don't waste your time being sad. I kind of wish, because there's a lot of days where I didn't go to school because um, I was upset or I wasn't in the mood and I was just, like, couldn't handle it. In middle school, you probably will go through a lot of growth and you, your hormones honestly may affect how you feel. And for me, I just went through a very bad time towards the beginning of eighth grade and things like, you're really honest right now on camera, so I really hope that everyone who's watching this is non judgmental because I'm being more honest than I am with some of my friends. But yeah, I spent a lot of time just kind of like sulking in my sadness and being in this rut where I couldn't get out of it. There was a reason, there was reasons and things like that. Like it wasn't just for no reason, but you could call it, um, it was, it was leading towards depression and I hate to say that because I don't want to sound like someone who just says that, but it's true. It kind of was. And I think that you don't want to put yourself in that place and if you if you can try not to be so my ways for being happy and getting out of bad places like if you're if you're caught up in drama or if you're just something that i do is i tell myself um that this is not how it's going to go that that i'm going to get out of whatever rut and um kind of bump in the road I'm in and that it's going to end. One of the biggest advice that I give people and it's, it's the truest thing ever is that everything bad that happens in your life will blow over. It will get better. Nothing lasts forever. Nothing that's happy or good lasts forever. Everything is kind of a cycle, especially in my life. My life is kind of a cycle. I'm just up and down and up and down and I just kind of want to stay up at some point. And so if you're in a bad spot, I know it might feel like you'll never get out of it, but the truth is you will. And it's I've noticed that through everything in my life. And I think that it's important to just take yourself out of those places to think, no, I'm not going to be sad. I'm going to be happy. I'm not going to let myself feel this way. And um, I was at school one day and I was just like, in the midst of all this stupid drama and in my head I was just like that they can't hurt me this can't hurt me you know what I mean I was like I'm gonna be stronger than this and you have to you have to decide that for yourself and there's no one who can tell you to do that that's up to you and if you're strong you smile you laugh you're happy and you don't let anything get to you then that's great so try not to sulk yourself into sadness be ready to change a lot through seventh to eighth grade i've seen one of the hugest changes that i've gone through and i know i'm going to go through so many more but i did change a lot i matured a lot and i still have a lot more maturing to go but um my looks changed a ton my style changed a ton In the beginning of seventh grade i was wearing all pink every day there wasn't a day to go without wearing pink. My hair was like this short and it was really disgusting. Um, my skin was perfectly clear and now I'm 
like a little bit older. I'm in eighth grade and my hair is longer. My style has changed and my my skin is not as perfectly clear as it was before. Um, my friend group from the beginning of seventh grade to the end of eighth grade is completely different. Don't expect to keep the same friends that you thought you were going to keep. I know that sounds scary, but it's true. Um, that'll change a lot and just be ready to change. I think middle school is somewhere where a lot of people develop different, different things in their life. Um, be open to new experiences. I'm not saying drugs or alcohol. I'm saying like be open to new things. Try new things. Like you're never going to get middle school back. So if you're afraid of something, try to fix that fear through the time you have. Just be open to new experiences. And I think that's something that's really important. Um, Stay away from drugs and alcohol as long as you can. That's a kind of a typical thing. Um, and by as long as you can, I mean that it is evident in middle school. You will see it. I have seen it tons of times. It's not. It's something you'll get used to. I mean, maybe that depends on your group of friends, but I think you'll get used to it. Um, I still to this day have not tried anything, but I just think, I just don't think it's worth it. Um... I don't know. I know a lot of people who were completely, completely against it, and a couple months later, it's like they were just trying it. They tried it once, and it's something that you have to decide for yourself, but, um, oh, anyways, as I was saying, and then it was like a, a little bit later, and they tried it once, and they liked it. So, that's just kind of up to you. For me, I think something you want to make sure you follow throughout middle school is your opinion on it. I think you should not be against people who do it, but you don't have to agree with it. So that's how I kind of deal with it. I'm definitely not against anyone who does it. And if any of my friends are watching this, they know that I'm really open to it. You can tell me and I will never judge you. I won't be like, wow, good job. You know what I mean? Like I will, I just don't judge. And, um, so make sure you're like that. Oh, that's another thing is don't be judgmental. Like, except it kind of, kind of goes to like being open to new things. Just accept everything. Um, yeah, you don't want to be judgmental. Don't get hung up on boys, it's middle school. I know too many girls who cry and cry and cry because of boys and it's really not worth it, it's freaking middle school. So you have so much more time to meet new boys, meet new people, um, it's really not worth it. I mean, I have gotten sad about boys throughout middle school and that has been something that's bothered me. And if it's like about like, a, I mean, I kind of understand more if it's about like your best friend or something or maybe your best friend's a guy, like, completely understand that but also I honestly do understand if you like someone so much that it just hurts and if they just kind of leave you out of nowhere or they stop caring or they hate you out of nowhere or just unexpected things happen how much it hurts I do understand and um it sucks and I know but also remember that things do get better and you have a lot more time to worry about boys no drama stay away from drama um, for a long time, I was completely out of drama. I just, I, no, this drama was out of my life. But then I kind of got sucked back into it a little bit. So definitely try your best to stay out of it. Just don't talk bad about people. Um, you don't have to. Like, honestly, when I think about it, like, what's the point? Like, maybe have one friend where you just get all your feelings out about people, but don't talk to everyone about it. Um... If someone's going to start a fight with you, either don't reply or your reply can just be like, honestly, I really don't care. Like, I'm kind of just over this. Um, just try your best to stay out of any drama. My last thing is actually do your work and don't procrastinate. That's something I wish I followed. In seventh grade, I was like straight A student, like, bam, like I was amazing, super smart. Eighth grade came along and I cared way too much about friends and like other things and I got sucked up in just a lot of different stuff that didn't matter that much and I think that it's more important to stay with your school stuff. Don't procrastinate. God freaking damn it, I am the world's biggest procrastinator. I swear, like, I started a school book. I started, like, a history book we had to read for history, like, the day it was due and we had, like, two months. Like, that's how bad it got. So definitely, it's really not that hard. Seventh and eighth, seventh is a freaking like a breeze for me at least. Eighth grade was a little bit harder, but that's kind of because I didn't try. Try, listen, and 
do your work and you'll be fine. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope this helped you in some way. And I love you with all my heart. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.